Be Present for Your Children Written by Beth Costanzo Narrated by Angela Olfest As parents, we intuitively understand the responsibilities that come with being a caregiver. Being in charge of a human life is simply awe-inspiring. From the moment our child is born, our lives change forever. It is up to us to ensure our child's health and safety. These responsibilities arrive swiftly when the child takes its first breaths. But as the child gets older, it is easy to develop a more casual routine. The status quo has shifted from we have a new child to our child is now an ingrained part of our everyday lives. While this isn't inherently bad, it can lead to some habits that sacrifice our child's future happiness and social and emotional learning. Specifically, I am talking about one word, presence. By being present, your child will intuitively recognize it. He or she will be happier, have greater self-esteem, and will even develop better communication skills. By contrast, if you are not present when you are with your child, he or she can tell. Adverse effects are possible, ranging from stunted social and emotional learning to even feelings of resentment toward you. Yes, we all live busy lives. This is especially true if you are a working parent or have many children. Nevertheless, your true undivided presence is one of the best gifts that you can give your child. It is a gift that keeps on going, even as your child gets older. You reap what you sow. Your actions dictate the consequences. If you want to reap something great, you'd better be sowing it right now. Make sense? It isn't a Bible course, but I am trying to convey to you the effort you put into your children now will benefit the entire family later. So what is it about presence that is so powerful? In other words, while we may be in the same room with our child, why is it so important to be totally immersed with your children? There are several reasons. Let's get started. To start, being actively present with your child or children sends an unmistakable message. That message is, I am here. You are safe, secure, and loved. My attention is on you and your emotions. Ultimately, you are the most important thing in my life. Even though you may not say this directly, that message is subconsciously being relayed to your child. A lot is being communicated here, and all of it positive. From this message, you and your child are building an extremely deep connection. This connection, based on love and support, is hard to break. It gives your child the reassurance that they have a parent or caregiver that is always looking out for them. Naturally, this security makes them happier and less stressed, allowing them to build self-esteem and avoid mental struggles like anxiety or depression. Our legacy of love matters. Let's compare and contrast. Let's compare this optimistic scenario with a more pessimistic one. Many parents or caretakers are trying to juggle one million things at once. Because of this, if their child complains, cries, or is fussy, they may find it all too tempting to give their child an iPad or other tablet device. Often, the tablet is enough to eliminate most of the stress and keep the child quiet. This strategy is seemingly helpful in the short term, but it is undeniably harmful in the long term. By not being present with our child and simply making her distract herself, we forego an opportunity to build that deep connection. Not only that, but our child feels disheartened, discouraged, and down. She doesn't understand why her parent or caretaker isn't giving her the attention she needs. Instead, she finds more attention from an electronic device. Ultimately, your presence is not only a game changer for your children, it is equally powerful for you. And if you have one, your partner.
Being totally present with all members of your family creates feelings of happiness and gratitude. It reduces your stress and helps you recognize what life is really about. Essentially, being present with your child, what you are doing is recentering yourself. No matter how stressful your day has been, it is almost meditative and can make any day brighter. How to be more present. Considering all of these benefits of being present, you may have one sticking point. You may think that your schedule won't allow for it. I inherently understand that life has become busier and more complicated. But I also recognize that we as parents or caregivers make choices about how we spend our time. Even if we aren't making active choices, we are still making decisions. Inertia is a real thing. Because of this, I recommend that you sit down and take a look at your regular schedule. Identify some points in the day where you can be more present with your child. I'm sure that this time exists. Let's break it down. Number one. In fact, it doesn't need to be that complicated in the beginning. For example, try to schedule a regular nightly dinner where you can discuss the day's events with your child. Bath time can also be a great opportunity to talk about homework, school, friends, or anything else. Let's break it down. Number two. When you find a regular time to be present, try to leave phones or other devices in another room. This is extremely critical. Even having a device in our pocket or purse can distance us from our child. It sets up an artificial barrier since we feel the subtle temptation to check the device for an important email or text message. Because of this, Make sure to put the device out of reach. Doing so will help you be more present with your child. Let's break it down. Number three, foregoing presence for presence. In many decades of being a teacher and parent, I have come to realize that children don't want presence as much as they want your presence. So don't hesitate to give them this precious gift. Give 100% of your focus and energy when you are with your child. Put the devices to the side. By doing this, both you and your child will experience happiness, joy, and gratitude. Let's break it down. Number four, put your cell phones away. I know some habits are hard to break. Try to get in the habit of putting your phone away when the kids get home from school. You can keep it close by, but release it from your hand. When you're at work, be 100% at work. When you're with your kids, be 100% with your kids. When you spend time with your significant other or just yourself, give it 100%. The effort you put into the relationship with your kids, family, and friends is priceless. Conclusion Sometimes as parents, we can forget the meaning of being a present parent. We are there with them, but not really there. Does this make sense? Every parent knows that being present and in the moment with your child, setting aside devices and distractions, is what's needed for children to thrive and what's needed for a happy, harmonious home. Keep in mind, we don't get to redo a single day of our lives. We must make sure we are enjoying each day and are leaving an impact because we have chosen to be present. Our legacy of love matters. Showing up means bringing your whole being, your attention and awareness. Take a moment and fast forward in your mind to a day in the future when your child, now an adult, looks back and talks about whether she or he felt truly seen and embraced by you. What do you think he or she will say? It's important to savor these moments with our children and create fun, loving memories that last forever. Visit us at The Adventures of Scuba Jack, www.adventuresofscubajack.com. 
subscribe to my YouTube page for more fun videos. Everybody and follow me. From the beach to the cove or in the sea. It's time for learning. It's time for fun. It's a great adventure for everyone. Come on, everybody, and follow me. Jump and swim out to the bottom of the sea. It's time for adventure, fun, and learning. Scuba Jack. It's a shark attack. Yay! Hey everybody, it's Miss Beth from The Adventures of Scuba Jack. I want you to subscribe here. I want you to give us two thumbs up or likes. And I want you to comment in the comment section. See you soon.